Uh, folks, so we got to have a talk. Um, I want honest opinions the further this video goes along, but <clears throat> I'm beginning to really feel like the money is not there anymore as far as um, gig work goes. I mean, the money, enough money to get ahead, so to speak. Um, Something happened to me earlier today that just had me whatever. So I saw a $60 order and I was like, bam, hit the $60 order. Come to find out that $60 order was in Texas. And I'm not in Texas. I'm not going to go into detail exactly where I'm at, but I'll tell you, basically, I'm about 11 hours away from Texas and there's no way in heck that I'm driving away to Texas. Now I did contact the customer. I'm like, uh, is there any possibility that they got your address wrong, uh, in this, this application, but I didn't get no response. So the order was canceled and I moved on about my business. But, um, I'm, I'm just wondering how you guys feel because I feel like I'm at the point where I don't want to go back to regular work, but um, I need to find something else. Um, even my full-time job right now is not paying me the most, and I'm just like, uh, do I need to just even, you know, up my game on that even? Well, you, you got to constantly up your game. There's no no ifs, ands, or buts about it, because you, you, you find yourself just not making any headway. You're just like, wait a minute. You're like, I'm actually getting behind doing gig work and all this different stuff if you're not if you're not really making a lot of headway and in the beginning when uh gig work started for me i think i i used it i used it to really um get myself out of the hole but um while we're sitting here we're gonna while i'm sitting here waiting for an order though i'm gonna scroll through the earnings i'll go as back as far as i can so you guys can take a look at some of my earnings i think back in august Back in August and uh, aug yeah, the mo that month of August, I did really good. That was a really good, um, really good payouts. But as you can see, beyond that, I haven't really been make well three seventy seven there, around there. But I haven't been high into the six hundreds or four hundreds in a while. And I have been dividing my time back into full time work. Ooh, then it went to nothing down here. Maybe it didn't do anything down there, but um. I just feel like my earnings have not been good. And like I said, that just forces you to kind of redirect and not put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, what made me mad about today was when I was going to get that $60 order. I was already in an area where there was like a $4 bonus for DoorDash, but I paused and I uh, went to go get the 60 and I and I got there. I was just like, this is freaking Texas. Like, what the heck is going on? And I'm like, I'm not driving all the way to Texas for 60 bucks. You know, that would have, and I don't know, there's there's some good people out here. You know, there's some people that's like, oh, I got to take it. And they would have ran out, they would took it out there and got no tip and just lost their mind, you know, because that's what people do. But um, I, I like I said, I call customer service, got canceled. But I, I'm really at the point, though, uh, too, is just like I, I need to step my game up, you know, apply for more jobs, do all this different stuff, you know, and, and not put so much emphasis on just food delivery. But but I do love I, I did love food delivery for a while because of the, the freedom that it provides. And uh, a lot of us, I don't know, I, I look at certain areas when I see people dashing and they're in the city and stuff. And I'm like, man, like you guys, is you know, kind of bragging about your earnings, but where you live at is expensive as hell. So how much money are you actually really putting away? And very few of us are in this, uh, you know, in this place in life where, you know, we don't have a lot of expenses. You know, all of us are out here trying to, trying to hustle. And, you know, you know, I run into occasional people who are like, oh, I just do this because I don't have anything better to do. I'm like, Psh. I'm like, please. I was like, there's plenty of other stuff I'd rather be doing. I'd rather be out like on vacation rather than out here. Like, you know, but it, it depends. I guess there's some people that do want a little bit of something to keep them going. But I'm just like, man, there's plenty of other things to see and do um, in the world versus out here working for, for peanuts. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the comments section. Um, 
I've been watching, you know what I've been watching a lot? You can catch, check him out on here on YouTube. So I've been watching a lot of Timothy Ward. And I agree with a lot of what he's saying, but a lot of times when I leave his videos, I'm just like, yeah, but what actionable plan do I take? I mean, as far as like minimizing my life, I've, I've already thought about doing this. So um, I've already thought about, and, and I need to just sit down and do it, but I'm completely going to downsize like, you know, the majority of stuff I got um, and stop buying stuff, stop buying material stuff um, because I'm, I'm, I'm just so like frustrated right now. I'm like, you buy stuff and you don't have time for it. And then, you know, you're paying bills and credit card debt and all this different stuff. So uh, I'm going to get out of this hole. It's going to take me a while. But um, he talked about moving back in with parents. But, um, you know, back in the day, you know, I did live with family and stuff when I was a teenager. But that's not even an option, me moving back in with family. I'm just not not, not going to even entertain that. Um, and then kind of like living out of your car. I'm like, I would be freaking miserable if I lived out of my car and um, went to work every day. Uh, not going to do that. Um, uh, you know, couch surfing. I don't know. I, I've been in the, I've been in that realm before where I did not have a house. And even that gets boring, that gets not boring, but just you feel like you're missing something. Um, because I remember when I didn't have like a, a actual, a, a, you know, a place to stay, I used to go to, to uh, and not, I wasn't homeless or anything, but I was working at the time. But I remember I, I didn't have like, you know, place to stay and all that different stuff. And I would go to Barnes and Noble after I'd get off work and stay there for for a long time and go to the gym. And just after a while, the monotony of that, you're just like, oh, okay, whatever. So a lot of you know, guys preaching a lot of freedom, and I understand that. And there is there's definitely not a lot of freedom in these corporate jobs, and people are, are busting the ass and doing that. But I need a better actionable plan on how to completely leave the rat race uh, behind um, and and completely be done one day. Uh, and that's before I get old. I mean, I actually, you know, people were like, oh, you know, putting off, or, you know, putting off or, oh, just live when you retire. I'm like, no, I'm trying to actually live like tomorrow. Like, you know, I'm not like, you know, blowing an absorbent amount of money and doing crazy stuff, but I, I try to live my life each day. So, um, earlier today, um, I had to take my mom to the, uh, the merch uh, well, I had to take her to the doctor cause she's not feeling good. And when I took her there, I told her, well, you know, I'll be back to pick you up. And I ended up going to like this, this little French pastry restaurant and I got some soup and a sandwich and stuff. So, um, I, but I'm the type of person that I'm not, I'm, I'm going to spend money. I'm going to live life and I'm going to earn money. And that's what I do like about gig work is that you do, you're able to earn money in the same day and spend the same day, but still the whole thing of getting out the rat, rat race. And like I said, I'm watching a lot of people on YouTube trying to get actionable plans but a lot of times I come away with like okay that worked for you but um that doesn't work for me so let me know what you guys think uh in the comment section and I want to be like like a realistic so I'm a person right now that is doing gig work I work full-time job I've got all kinds of other irons in the fire but I am still not getting ahead and I want to know what you guys think about that um how do you guys feel um, and, and I want people to comment kind of on actionable stuff, not just, you know, criticism or whatever and, and trolling and all this stuff, but let's try to form a community that, um, pushes out actionable, uh, ways to, you know, to escape the rat race that we're all in as far as, you know, and being gig workers and all this different stuff. And kind of, ex if you have a story of triumph, uh, please share it with me and if you do um, I don't mind if you if we talk a little bit on uh, here on the YouTube and if you want to get together and do a podcast uh, you know telling your story but like I said actionable items that we can all take take advantage of um, you know because a lot of times you know people will say oh read this book read rich dad poor dad read seven habits of highly effective people and you co you still come away with like okay that's good but it doesn't work for me so, like I said, and like I said, all those, everything that I see, you know, there's, there's key, there's key items, but like I said, making them actual, actionable plans. 
that you can follow through every day. And even like, I'll tell you guys this just straight up. Like a lot of times when I'm sitting, if I'm sitting on the couch, like today I was playing, not really sitting on the couch, sitting in the gaming chair. I was playing Resident Evil, the demo. I haven't bought the real game because I'm just like, I, I don't have time to play it. Um, but um, when I was sitting there, I was just like, instead of me sitting here playing this demo, let me get out and work and make money to, to pay off some bills and stuff. But like I said, it becomes a, a endless hamster wheel. And I was actually talking to someone earlier and I just cussed. I was just like, fuck. I was like, how the hell do I get out of this? But peace out.